Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech. Welcome back to another video. This time I'm looking at the Noctua NHU 12S Redux. Uh, I bought this myself on Amazon for £43. It was on sale at that time. And what I'm going to do is, I'm well, as you can see, it's by there in the video already. Looks really nice. What we'll do is go straight to the benchmarks. But remember, but also. Don't forget to subscribe because if you want to see this versus the PLS Assassin from Thermalright, which at the present moment this has gone back up to £50. They're both in the same price category. If you want to see that video, make sure you're subscribed and comment down below. So let's get down to the benchmarks. Okay, so what I've done is I've done Cinebench R20, R23. 3D Mark CPU test, I've done Shadow, the Tomb Raider, and I've done Furmark. So, Cinebench R20, the idles were 29, and the Max was a 63. The Cinebench R23 run was idle at 34, Max was 63. 3D Mark CPU test was 32 Celsius at idle, and a 56 at Max. That, I was very surprised. Shadow, the Tomb Raider, Idols was 32, Max was a 50, and for Mark, the Idols were 33 Celsius and the Max was 66. Now, Cinebench, R20 and R23, as well as for Mark, they were run for 10 minutes straight continuously to see how the thermals would creep up. Uh, the initial results, the, well, to be honest, I'm quite surprised. Um, this is my first time actually doing any reviews of any Noctua products. Now, I like the overall design. The overall design is okay. Uh, the packaging, very nice. But obviously, if you've already bought stuff from Noctua, you probably expected it, I don't know. But it comes with this massive like guide by here. It's an inst installation manual. Comes for LGA to uh, AMD, AM5, so it comes with every single one. The overall experience of doing the installation was simple. Uh, Thermalright do a similar installation, so, well, they probably copied it, but still. So you get this, which is basically just a cardboard. You get the in the accessory by here which has LJ brackets already installed already there um, it also comes with more standards comes with LJ 1700 and it comes with a bracket by here ready for LJ 1700 it covers LJ um, 1155 uh, 1200 as well as 1700 and also this comes with this pre-applied thermal paste so it comes with pre-applied on the bottom of the air cooler, which I do like. Uh, this end is for, this one is for, this is for the Intel. And that's pretty much everything in the box. Overall presentation, good. Uh, the performance is fantastic. But one thing I really love about this is it is silent. Let me see if you can hear it. I'll put the mic up to it now. That is just awesome. I mean, it's so quiet. I'm very shocked. Now, obviously, it's my first time trying out an Octo product. Yeah, I bought it. But that doesn't matter. The way I see it is I'm still going to review it. Yeah, it might sit on the shelf. But if I ever do a giveaway, maybe I will include this. So this is the overall box. The design is quite nice. Uh, apparently, the Redux... Redux is more of a cheaper version of the Noctua. I was going to pay for the NHS, uh, the NHS U12, no, U15, but I thought £90, no. So I went with this because this is more of a budget option compared to the rest of the lineup. So I just went to the sea wall would be actually nice for that price point and as I've got so many air coolers here, I can do a lot of different comparisons. So if you want to see this versus the PLS Assassin from Thermalright, I mean, I could even do the uh, the Shadow Rock. I could do the Maya from Raging Tech. 
I've got the AK400 from Deep Cool. I've also got the Bits Power Air Cooler, the Phantom. I've got so many options for air coolers. If you guys want that video, please comment down below. Leave a like. And that is pretty much it. And I thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope the quality of the sound is a lot better. And that's pretty much it. So I will see you again in the next one. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. Hope you have a fantastic day. Good. Bye.